Hi everyone, what's up guys? I'm Scotty with Scotty Goes Pro and today I want to talk to you about a new accessory that I received a few weeks ago called the GoPro Hand Slash Wrist Strap. Now this is not a new accessory by GoPro by any means, but it is new to me. I'm excited about it and I want to talk to you about it. You know, maybe you've been thinking about getting one of these hand straps, but you can't really decide if it's worth the money or not. Well, I can go ahead and tell you that it is worth the money. I love this accessory, especially if you're very active with your GoPro. You like to get those point of view shots, those selfie shots, and be hands-free all at the same time, then this is a great accessory to have. So let's kind of go ahead and talk about it and jump right into this. Right out of the box, you get a few different items. Of course, you get the hand strap. You get another strap for your wrist. And you get a third strap, which is extremely long. And I guess this could be used to go on your leg or other objects that you would normally use like a zip tie for. That's what I found it useful for. And I'll kind of get into that in a little bit. So what's so cool about this little hand strap is that this top part here swivels in a 360 degree motion. So not only can you get those point of view shots, just like you will with your traditional type of grip, but you can spin it around and get selfie shots as well. So it's very simple to put on your hand. You just loosen up these straps. Slide your hand in like so. Tighten down each of these straps here next to your thumb and on the other side. So this is what the back side on your palm looks like. And this is what it would look like on the back of your hand. And like I said, this top part here swivels in a 360 degree motion. And as you can see, it's very stiff. So you don't have to worry about it flopping around. It's gonna stay wherever you point the camera. And it's much easier to turn once you get the camera on here. So let me put the camera on real quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So once you get the camera on here like this, you really wanna tighten this down and don't be afraid. It's not, un this is extremely comfortable. So don't be afraid to tighten it down. I found that no matter how tight I get it, it doesn't cut off the blood flow to my hand or anything. All this is spread out very nicely. And on the bottom of this plate here is a, is a padding. So it's very comfortable on the top of your hand. So once you get it strapped down, it pretty much looks like this whenever you're filming with it. So it can look kind of funny, but again, who cares what it looks like because you're getting the cool videos. Not everyone else is looking at you kind of funny, right? So when you're getting those point of view shots, no matter what you're doing, like I said, you can spin it around and just that quick, you can get a selfie shot without having to unmount it, without having to put it on any kind of uh, GoPro pole or anything like that. You immediately get those shots of yourself. So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that you can probably just use a grip, right? To get those point of view shots. You just spin it around, you get those selfies. But the thing that sets this apart is that your hands free at the same time. So say you have a traditional grip, right? You're filming, you're getting your point of view shots, you're turning around, you're getting your selfies, but now if you need to use your hands, you have to do something with this group and camera. So you either lay it on the ground, you stick it in your pocket, you have to do something with it, right? Well, with this hand strap, your hands free. So whenever you're filming, you can immediately use your hands at the same time. So that's what sets this apart from your traditional grip. So now you don't have to use this for extreme sports. I took my daughter, my wife and I took my daughter to a museum a few months ago and I used it then, mostly to try it out. But you know, it's, it's cool that I, can, that I can grab my daughter, I can pick her up, I can hold her and still have that camera on my hand, ready to go at any time. Other reasons that you'd want to use this would be a little more for extreme things. Say you're, uh, you're water skiing, you know, you're holding on to the, uh, to the handle in front of you. Well, you can, with this on your hand, you can either get point of view shots, you can spin around, get those selfie shots, and your hands free at the same time, right? Think of amusement park rides, uh, think of water slides, you know, where you're on a tube. A lot of the water parks will require you to have two hands on the tube. Well, you can keep two hands on that tube and get those selfie shots of yourself at the same time. Also, if you're rock climbing or skydiving, you know, you're rock climbing, you're using your hands, but yet, bam, you can stick it out, get that selfie of yourself, and keep on climbing. Same thing with skydiving, you know, you're falling at such a high rate of speed, you may not can hold on to a grip without losing it and never getting your camera back. So if you had this strapped to your hand, it's an awesome accessory for that. So I wanna talk a minute about these other straps. Now, I don't know if I will ever use this, uh, this wrist strap as a wrist strap because I like the hand strap so much. It's so much more stable on the back of my hand, but there are some other uses for this such as taking the place of any kind of zip tie mount that you have. Now, especially this larger strap, 
a few weeks ago, my cousin and I went uh, off-roading in his Jeep Rubicon, and the situation came up where I wanted to get a good shot behind us. I wanted to strap the camera behind us somehow and get the shot of us, like, or uh, the shot of our backs while he was driving while I was sitting in the passenger seat. So I was trying to figure out a way that I could strap this to the top of the, the roll bar of this Jeep. So I took the strap, ran it through here like I would normally do, and then strapped it to the roll bar. And then I also strapped my Karma grip to that so I had a nice stable footage because you can get that strap really tight. Same as you can with a zip tie, but the cool thing about not using the zip tie is that you don't have to cut the zip ties off later. You just unvelcro it, velcro it back, you can change it and adjust it. So you can put this on, you know, this, this whole length of this strap is velcro, is velcroable, right? So you can velcro this anywhere along the length of this strap. So you got to think if you wanted to, if you wanted to mount this to a uh, any kind of large pole, a light pole, a post, a fence post, anything that's large that you can't normally strap a GoPro to, this large strap comes in handy for that. I actually won this strap in a giveaway a few weeks ago, so I didn't have to pay for it. It does retail for about 50 bucks. So if you're like me and you were always kind of eyeballing it, uh, I wanted to add this to my accessory kit. I thought I would get some use out of it. Go ahead and purchase this if you're thinking about it. If it's on your accessories to get list, go ahead and get it. I can promise you, you will not be disappointed. And it's all for those reasons like I've already talked about. The point of view shots, the selfie shots, the being hands free, the using this large strap for other items such as posts and pole and other large things where you would normally use a zip tie mount. This accessory is very versatile and that's what I love about it. That's why I buy GoPro accessories. That's one thing that I personally look for is the versatility of that accessory. So you know, I think of my GoPro accessory kit as like a toolbox, right? Uh, at home I have screwdrivers, I have hammers, I have saws, I have tons of tools, but I don't use those tools every day, right? You never use those tools every day, but is it nice to have that hammer when you need it? Yes. Is it nice to have that screwdriver when you need it? Absolutely. That's how I think of my GoPro accessory kit. It's like a toolbox and it's awesome to have these accessories when I need it. I don't use them every day, but it's great to have them when I need it. So I guess that's about it, guys. If this was helpful to you in any way, please give me a thumbs up and let me know. If you have any questions about this, anything else I can do a video on, or just answer your questions, I'd be happy to do so. I've said before in other videos, if you've seen videos of mine before, I'm not a representative of GoPro. I don't work for GoPro. They didn't send me this. I did win this accessory in a giveaway, but it was not from GoPro. You know, my question for you guys is, do you use this strap? Are you considering getting this strap? What's keeping you from getting it? I can answer all those questions for you and probably ease your mind a little bit. So thanks again. Thanks for taking the time to stop by and watch this video. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing. I'll be putting out more videos like this on a uh, pretty normal basis. If you have any questions or any accessories that you want to see, you want to catch reviews on, kind of get my point of view on them, please leave those in those comments below or send me a message and I'll do my best to try to make a video for you if I have that accessory. So please take care and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.